Hey there, welcome back to Shadow of the Earth Tree. It's 98 degrees outside right now, so my lights and everything are off. I'm trying to keep it cool and dark in here, so sorry, it's just a dark corner over here. But we just left off going into some dungeon, yet another dungeon, Dragon's Pit. There's quite a, I say quite a few. I've been to like three, like back to back. It's been kind of impressive. Uh, so I imagine there's going to be dragon stuff in here, obviously, but there was a dragon dude outside of it, like an invader, and he looked dragony. Hi there. Oh, he's got Executioner Ask. Oh, is it one of those skeletal beast guys? Yeah. So the Executioner Axes talk about how they were uh, wielded by, you know, basically executioners who would wander the battlefields and execute any remaining guys. I'm not going to be able to poison them. I wish I had some holy stuff. I, the side of grace is right here. I could go and do that. These big Executioner Skeleton dudes are kind of obnoxious, though, because, like, they just have all the poison in the world. Of course, there's another dude. Why wouldn't there be? Yay, bloody slash. Ah, uh, see, these guys are affected. They do have the whole death return thing. Interesting. But it kind of makes sense that you would find some beast guys here because, you know, they are in Crumbling Fair Missoula, which has all kinds of dragon things, dragon lord, uh, Placutusax. Okay, more beast guys. Oh, is that like a big bowl of dragon blood? You know, like the dragon communion stuff is about eating the heart. Even little basin thing by the ancient dragon body has like, it's like an incorporeal flame blood kind of thing, huh? Hmm. That's actually, I mean, that's the talus or seal that I'm using, actually. I'm circling this way because I don't trust running straight that direction. It looks like a hole back here, too. Yeah, see? There they are. It's kind of crazy that these beasts can breeze fire. I mean, I guess they have, you know, ties was, uh, you know, the dragon. So, I mean, surprise, right? They can breeze fire. I don't know. It's the whole thing is kind of interesting. It's got to be a way to get over there, right? I hear movement. Is it up above us? Okay. Can I climb up that? Wait. I swear I saw, like, the end of a dragon or something crazy. I mean, totally expecting to fight some kind of dragon in this place, right? Oh, why don't I try the... I've got that hammer. The hammer has, like, holy guard counters. Maybe that'll do something to him. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I don't have the faith. I gotta change out some of my equipment for it. Two paths up. That'll probably circle around, right? Watch, I switch to this weapon, and then I'm going to fight the dragon, and the whole holy counterattack thing is just not going to be any use for me. See? I freaking... Oh, it's a magma worm. All right, well, you know what? We'll poison him. How about that? Owie. A uh, magma worm actually makes a lot of sense, because what happens to people who, you know, partake in the whole dragon communion? They become magma worms. They're stuck crawling on the ground. I would like to poison him, though. Finally. Dragonheart, Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Alright, nice. I mean, he, he did take quite a bit to put down. He had a lot of health. He didn't do any fancy moves. He didn't enter the whole, like, Magma Worm Phase 2 or anything like that. But he was really obnoxious. So now we'll go down. And we'll see what's over here. Oh, no. Skeleton. Big one, too, huh? All right, let's see how the counterattack does on him. That did, like, no damage. Okay, I mean, that staggered him. Eh, didn't seem him any more effective against that dude. All right, so we're down here. What does the message say? Be brave, show no fear. So, all right. Oh, so it probably means just, like, walk forward, right? It's an illusory bridge. That's what I'm going to assume. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. I was supposed to fall. Whoa. Some super heavy uh, Medir vibes there. All right, what am I going to fight then? Oh, okay. Do I? Man, I'm just going to use the rune arc too i never use these things like i know i've shown myself using it a few times but then like i don't ever really like upkeep it i mean like honestly like uh, that's what they're there for right Ooh, 
Ancient Dragon Man. Oh, that's a cool weapon art. Doesn't beat, um, what you call it, though. We're gonna poison him. Get punched. So they're, maybe they're adding back in the dragon forms from the other Dark Souls, huh? You got the Ichimoji. Uh-oh. That was close. Maybe. Punch. Roll back. I don't trust that. Yeah. <gasps> Magma. Load run right into the other. Ooh. Cool move. Oh, God. Okay. That second attack felt like it came out pretty fast. He has quite a bit of health, too. I like how I use that rune arc just to die immediately after using it. <laughs> Alright, we need these runes, though. I don't remember how many I have, but... Oh, that's a cool... It had, like, you know, the, like, slice move. I keep forgetting what it's called. I've got the, like, critical hit rings on, or amulets, talismans, whatever. But, I mean, if this is, like, a person and not, like, a regular boss, then me using those is kind of useless, right? He had a really big pivot on that. I thought I was going to be able to backstab him, and he just full 180'd lava to me. Okay. How? Come on, go down, please. Thank you. He actually was not hard. He, if I, like, delayed those as long as possible, he wouldn't move at all. He'd just take the hits every single time. Dragon Hunter's Great Katana. Great Katana with spines of gravel stone along his blade, wielded by the ancient Dragon Man of the Dragon's Pit. Has an anti-dragon effect. Could have used that against a zombie dude. Uh, formerly a dragon communion warrior, the ancient dragon man was once arbiter of those worthy to devour the dreaded one. So, like, that one dude was talking about the dreaded one, right? What was his name? Bane or something like that. Vane. Uh, dragon wound slash designed to hunt colossal dragons. This skill co cloaks the armament with jagged gravel stone aura before performing a high leaping slash. Charge the attack to also fire off the aura. It is a strength dex weapon, no arcane scaling, but I mean, it does have innate blood or yeah, bleed buildup because it's a katana. It's got a sweet sheath too. Yeah, it is cool. Look how it's got that cool like gravel stone edging. Yeah, the attack moveset is the same as the other one. Blue. Get rid of the shield. Okay, so then if I do this... Wait, did I misread it? High leaping slash. Charge the attack to also fire off the attack. Oh. So you can just quick press it for a quick slash. So let's see. Slice and then up. Wing. And then full hold it. And then it fires it off. Okay, yeah. So you got to press and hold. All right. That's pretty cool. This is probably a new side of Dragon Communion, right? Oh, he is a gatekeeper for the dude to go for the dreaded one, right? Oh, is this a seal into a new zone? Oh. Foot of the jagged peak. Yeah, this is where we saw the big giant dragon body. More dragons. That looks like a corpse. That's a sleeping one. Nice. All right. All right. Right, because we looked from way up there. We saw the big body right there. Golden Ram. No way down from here, it looks like. Interesting. So cool. So that's like another big old grail like. Nice. Well, let's check back with Egon real quick. Because I just now... Oh, is he gone? Oh, no, he's still there. Okay. 
maybe because I've opened up the way, maybe he will keep going forward. Maybe that's part of his quest line is like he can't do it himself because he's too weak and a loser. But by opening the path for him, maybe then he can progress, right? God, that belly aching needs to stop, though. Stop it. Are his legs gone? I mean, he talked about... Yeah, it kind of looks like they're gone. It's weird that he's got a glove on the back, unless it's actually a hand. Yeah. Anything else to say? All right, well, what if I put on the Dragon Hunter Katana? Nope. Okay. What if I ailment talisman? Nope. Nothing. All right, bud. I tried. Tried to help you. All right, last thing we're going to do. We're going to try to go up here and see if I can get to that thing real quick. Or no, because I, did I look at this before? I don't remember. I know I kind of, yeah, I kind of went up here. That's where I got the, um... Oh, it's a tower. That's what it was. Okay, yeah, because I got the Gravebird thing right here. Gravebird bracelet. The piercing fang on this weapon is pretty freaking dope. I really like the Ichimonji too, but at least I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I'm probably saying it the wrong thing, and I'm gonna just going to keep calling it random things. But um, I do like that one as, a lot as well, and was bleed stuff. I, I got a cult on this weapon. That's what most of my weapons are that I don't... Like, that I can infuse. But because they do bleeding the hitting multiple times is pretty good so that we can keep building up you know statuses but uh you can't beat that though like one ash of war into stagger followed by a critical and it completely replenishes the fp i used it's such a satisfying combo stop it okay oh but you didn't like me um rolling into you i tell you the thorn armor has some very sweet hidden benefits where like uh, oh, I got the wrong amulet on. Uh, sweet benefits were like, you know, you roll and you do some damage. And so it's like, okay, yeah, cool. I did some damage or whatever. But you don't consider that that damage is sometimes just enough to stagger some of the like light enemies. It's also enough, like if guys are in the air or doing some aerial attacks, like that, uh, that dragon man guy. For some of his things, I just rolled into him when he jumped in the air and that immediately knocked him down because it was damaged while he was in the air. I need to try, because these guys are golems, right? So I need to try and um, use a crystal darts on them, and I want to see if it does anything kind of fancy. All right, there's one right there. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. One. I might knock them out of the eye air. Okay. Well, it's just kind of knocking them out of the air right now, which is fine, but not quite what I'm looking for. A lot of them. Fortunately, I don't have a good ash on right now that's, like, built for multiple enemies. I can actually get into this tower. So the one outside the burned ruins, or cindered ru ruins, whatever it's called at the beginning, there was no opening. Suppressing pillar? What is it suppressing? gravestone and a chest all right let's look at the gravestone real quick examine monument okay so that's overlooking this whole area wow look at that what a view so that's a jagged peak we're at the foot of it is our other side of grace and it looks like there's you know a rope bridge and stuff we'll be able to work our way up but there's also this hole as a side path that'll eventually lead us along to that thing whatever it is All right, what does it say? The very center of the lands between, all manners of death washed up here, only to be suppressed. The very center of the lands between. So, like, in that, you know, like, if we go back in here, right? Is it talking about in here? All manner of death washed up there, only to be suppressed. And now, it's been a while since, you know, I, like, looked at the full map like getting everything on there but isn't it a whirlpool there which to me always 
was very reminiscent of Dark Souls 2, like the opening cinematic falling into that giant whirlpool and then later they wake up, they wake up at Majula or, you know, the things betwixt, right? And so I wonder if that's kind of the same thing here, like going through whatever's there in the center, you end up winding up in wherever they're talking about washing up at. Hmm. Hi. Ooh. Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Those are always cool. Well, that's what we're going to call this one. Uh, just that dungeon kind of getting along here. And then, um, hmm, trying to decide where I want to go next. It looks like I could even sneak there and there's some nasty poison stuff there if I really, really wanted to. There's lots of choices now at this point. Now we're getting into some choices on like where I want to go. But thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until the next one, take care.